Yo, what's happening guys? It's Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and today we're going to discuss Jeannie Buss' comments about how she's growing impatient with the Los Angeles Lakers and how the, the money she's spending isn't converting into team success that she's expected. So Sly, what do you think, man? Well, let's just look at her exact quotes right now. And she said, when you spend that kind of money on luxury tax, you expect to go deep into the playoffs. I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. So basically what happened was obviously we went up and we got Russell Westbrook. And it was a team decision. Obviously, that's what LeBron wanted, AD wanted. But if you're the owner of Jeannie Buss, you got to try your best to convince LeBron James, no, this is the wrong move. We're not going to win like this. So... She deserves some of the blame too, obviously, you know. I don't think her comments to the media saying this out loud to people, I don't think it's good. I don't, like, I don't know how it's going to help out the team. I don't know how it's going to help out LeBron James and him like, oh, I want to stay now because I'm pretty much being thrown on their bus. Yes, I feel it was LeBron's fault for what happened because no way in how you pick up Russell Westbrook. No way in how you win championships with that fool. But at the end of the day, it's time to move on, you know, it's time to move on. And Jeannie Buss can't be tarping on the past. She's got to freaking, they got to get together, try to find a way to get rid of his ass, Westbrook, and move on. Because talking like this, you know, it's just, I think it's just bringing negativity to the forefront. And we don't want that, you know, it's time to just try to get that next championship next year. Try to get ready, but, you know, just let it go because you were part of the problem. You you were the final say that said, yeah, let's get him. So, time to move on i wouldn't be telling the media about all your your upsetness because a lot of owners i think would be love to be in that position where they have two of the greatest players on the planet on their team right now so you know careful genie you got to be careful man yeah i definitely agree with the westbrook part um obviously she's right as far as the money not translating to w's and westbrook's probably the major reason because he's obviously our highest paid player and but she did sign off on it like you said however these comments don't make me too mad just because obviously LA we have a that reputation of being like a winning franchise and everything so I don't expect her I don't I'm actually not mad at her for expecting uh, success every year year in year out obviously you don't want to um, criticize your players or kind of like put them down you know like don't 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 throw your players under the bus but for the most part I remember she did this a few years ago when she was taking uh, control of the organization and she was able to turn it around. So I'm going to give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt when she got rid of her brother. She was pissed at the organization and are constantly losing. So hopefully, maybe she has a fire under her right now and she wants uh, success to happen instantly. And maybe she could do it again and kind of get us going. Obviously, Magic and Palinka got us uh, the ball movement at that time. But she, she contributed a little bit. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to wait and see on this one. The only reason I say that is just because... LeBron James, let's be real, man. The guy's freaking sensitive. Like I like, I love LeBron. I think he's the greatest basketball player of all time. But the dude's fucking sensitive, and he hears these comments, and he's like, you know, I want out. F this, you know. Like he's had risks before with his owner, other owners. You know, look at the Cavs owner. He had risks with him. You know, little things that were talking heads, things that were said. So that's why I say that. You know, I know I personally, if like I'm the owner, I just shut up and freaking just write the checks. You know, because like I said, you're in a good situation right now where you have two of the best players on the team right now, you pretty much basically got to suck up to them. You got to suck up to them because this is a player's league, man. The players could get the hell out whenever they want. They could demand a trade and they're gone, you know? So you got to pretty much have them be happy pretty much because, <laughs> like I said, this isn't 1980s anymore. This ain't the 90s no more. This is a way different league right now where these players control where they go if they want to go. So... We'll see, man. Like I said, hopefully this year it's a really big year. It's a big test for the Lakers. What's going to happen in the future? So we got to make moves right now. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about Genie Bus's comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.